Like many industries, veterinarian clinics are having a hard time hiring qualified candidates. On top of that, they're also seeing an increase in demand for their services. WRTV's Meredith Hackler shows us how this is affecting vet clinics and what the industry plans to do moving forward. Most people view pets as part of the family, and according to veterinarians industry-wide, more people are choosing to add a furry friend to their family. We, we definitely have seen like an increase in both um, current clients with new pets, and a lot, we've had a lot of new clients. Um, and it's been, a lot of them have said it's been really hard to find a vet to get them in. But that increase in demand comes at a time when the industry is seeing a shortage of both vet techs and veterinarians themselves. We're not immune, it's, it's across the board, like we're struggling to, to find applicants um, because of just the way the job market is right now. According to a study by Mars Veterinarian Health, nearly 41,000 additional veterinarians will be needed to meet pet care needs by 2030. Dr. Jim Wiseman, the assistant dean for clinical education at Purdue University's vet school, says to fill that need, he feels the industry will likely need to utilize the training of support staff at vet clinics. Utilizing and, and strategizing their efforts will help in the need for helping veterinarians be able to see more patients and therefore be more efficient in our day-to-day -day work. And that will address some of this uh, workfall shortage. But pay for veterinarian techs and nurses is also an area those in the industry say needs to be addressed. Certainly on the veterinary nursing or technology side, pay has not caught up to where it should be today. However, veterinarians like Dr. Christopher Robinette say that looking at ways to make becoming a veterinarian more affordable could be another solution to the shortage. That student loan forgiveness is probably the biggest thing. Um, you know, veterinarians come out with as much debt as human medical doctors, um, but we get a, you know, half or a fraction of the pay. Um, so you come out and you're like a quarter million dollars of debt, you're starting out that way. It's, it's hard to, it takes a really big emotional toll. Working for you, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. And according to the expert that we spoke with from Purdue, starting pay has increased for veterinarians. However, he says the industry does not does need to work on better creating a work-life balance and providing vet professionals with mental health resources.